broadcasting from the Meredith Hall Studios out of Carson City, Nevada. You're listening to Covering the Field with Big Richard Martin, Gator Gates, and Joe the Answer Ellison. Welcome to Covering the Field. With me today is Big Richard Martin and Gator Gates. I'm Joe Ellison. Guys, the Women's World Cup Soccer Tournament is alive and kicking. How does the two-time defending champion United States look so far? Okay, Joe, well, they do look a little shaky. Um, they did beat uh, Vietnam 3 to nothing. And did you see the game, Gator? Mm-hmm. I, I mean, did they just look like they were playing a bunch of 12-year-old boy team? From <laughs> uh, I mean, it just looked like a bunch of chihuahuas out there. I mean, they never even got a kick on goal. They yeah, didn't right. even got a kick on goal. No, exactly. That's why they should. They were favored by six. They were supposed to get yeah, seven. And I took your advice, and I took Vietnamese yeah. and six goals. And it, I was biting in my nails the whole time, Gator, sure, because that uh, was easy. It that was, was not easy. easy. They they scored they had 25 to nothing on goals on an attempt on goals. I, I think I would have had to at least get to five before I started getting nervous. You can only score one at a time. So it it's like a bunch of ankle fighters out there. It was great. It was great. And what about that goalie for being I mean, She was playing her butt off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I can see how they got into the tournament. They, yeah. you know, they're a feisty little team. Yeah, just like Chihuahuas. <laughs> there you go. Now, USA did uh, have a hard time against the Netherlands. Uh, they did have to come back in that game. That was the first time that they were right. ever losing in a group stage. Oh, yeah. yeah. Since so when? Kind of Since good. when, Gator? 2000, ever. Well, 2011, they were losing uh, a game. I think that's the last time they, they lost a game. That, uh, well, that was, Obama, but Obama that was president. Not, but that was not in a group That wasn't state. in a group, group stage. Yeah. Now, uh, now here's the thing, you guys. This this group has not played that many games together. Very young team. Very young team, and uh, so they, they have to. They're going to get better as the games go on. And then uh, even tying to Netherlands was uh, yeah. pretty impressive. I know everybody is saying, "Well, we should win these games easily." Well, it didn't impress the ticket guy when I gave him my ticket for the mm-hmm. USA winning. He said, "No, sir, that is not a tie. You don't get paid." So that was not impressive, Gator. It was you have you're the USA, you're the defending champions. You can't have a well. Consolation if, if you trophy. would if you would handicap these games, you would have known that Netherlands did uh, keep USA scoreless for 88 minutes in a championship game, and uh, with a game that USA did win two to nothing. Yes, the championship four years ago, mm-hmm. and they do have a lot of new players. Only half the team's pretty much back. There was right. revenge also mm-hmm. there for the. The Netherlands. Netherlands. It's always a factor. Congratulations, Netherlands. Now, they do Beat have to girls. play Portugal on Tuesday, and I expect them to play a little better. Portugal just got done beating Vietnam 2 to nothing. Okay. So we should have no problem beating So them. if we tie, we go on, Gator, right? We tie, right? Mm. We tie, we advance. Oh, we have to. Well, we, yeah, I'm thinking about winning the whole thing, but yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. Well, the. We well, not the whole thing, but the group. We do have a new coach this time around mm-hmm. that's a big factor too exactly so that uh we did lose our leading scorer mallory swanson uh and I'm our, back, mallory. our defender I'm back and uh team captain becky sarver uh she also did not make it to the tournament because of injuries so mm-hmm. we are not at full strength for sure and and again um, alex morgan hasn't uh had a goal yet She's done all kinds of other things, but she hasn't had a goal yet. And what about Rodman's daughter out there? She's playing good. She's She had a rough game her. against Netherlands. I didn't think that she played that great there. Right. There was a lot of crossing that she could have done. Um, I also think that our midfielders need to step up and do some more crossing. They're not getting it to, like like Big Richard saying, Rodman or Sophia. Those mm-hmm. girls need to, they need to find those girls. I think they kicked the ball over the net 15 times. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Get it a little lower. <laughs> I say more crossing. Okay, more crossing. Kick it lower. Come on, girls. Get more it back. Get it back. You're fine. Yeah, they're not putting the ball on net. No. They're getting a lot of shots, but not a lot of shots on goal. Right. So that's the key to that. So who do you think is your favorite like, so far there, Gator? You know, who has impressed me? or what Yeah, you who, yeah who do you, who's impressing you out there so we can make a little money? I tell you who impressed me with South Africa. Um, I, they had a 2 nothing yeah, lead today, um, and they lost Argentina. Well, but they they, t- they tied Argentina. They, yeah, oh, they yeah, that's winning, what I mean. They were winning two to nothing and gave up two late goals. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they kind of just I don't know what they did, but they they are the uh, champions of the African okay. nation. So keep an eye on them. Hopefully, that's a wake up call for them because Argentina did not look that great. 
if you're looking strictly by scores, I'd have to say Germany and Spain. Yeah, Germany had six goals, right? Six against Morocco. Uh, Spain had five. But that's against Morocco. Zambia. Well, I know, but uh, it's like they're scoring the most anyway. And, right. and, so what would be an over on them? If you want to take Germany and, and do an over, what do you think the over would be, Gator? Germany and who? Can't, well, they play Colombia next. Yeah. And I think Colombia has a good shot of trying. So I guess uh, Germany uh, minus three oh, wow. over Colombia. Colombia beat South Korea. So maybe Colombia might be better than we think. Mm-hmm. I think so. Might get a little sleeper pick. Good job, Gator. Good Thank job, you. Joe. All right. All right. So, um, yeah. Oh, most impressive win would have to be Philippines, right? Oh, yes. By far, they were at a plus 900. So, if you had so that, anybody who had that was great. Okay. And that was against New Zealand. So, that was huge, yes. That was the big money maker. Hopefully, we can find another one down the road. I'm sure there will be. Okay. So, fellas, uh, Major League Baseball trade deadline is Tuesday. Finally, we got some news uh, yesterday. Uh, yesterday being Wednesday. Um, it seems as though... Shohei Otani, it looks like he's not going anywhere after all. Right. Well, they're what, four games out of the wild card. Yeah. They four, played three and a half. Three and a half, four. Yeah. You know, might as well they do tonight. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. What do you think? Otani's staying in Disneyland. I think that, uh, you know, definitely they have the money to keep them. I think they're going to try to keep them. They kept Trout. Well, this is what I think. I think being the date that it is, July 27th, um, there was, and I don't know who said this. I'm stealing a quote from somebody, but they said, you need to get rid of your player one year before you wanted you before you need to get rid of them and that's what they should have done with otani and i think they missed their deadline to get rid of them for something now they have to now, get, you're gonna now they have to convince them that they're going to be the team that he wants to stay for and you know otani likes it they're in la i'm not saying anything like that but any other team would have a hard time convincing them to stay well yeah he's uh, going to be a free agent yeah i mean uh so they, they, they kind of can go wherever window. he wants. They kind of missed their window is what I'm saying, and they're doing the right thing right now. That's what I think. Mm-hmm. They, they missed their window, but they're doing okay now. Well, they traded for uh, White Sox, mm-hmm. starting pitcher Lucas Giolito, and a reliever. So they they definitely are going all in right now, it seems. Well, so, they have, uh, you know, Otani just pitched a, what up, his first complete game. Yes, that was great this morning. One hit shutout. Yes, this morning. And what does he do in the second game of the doubleheader? Hits two home mm-hmm. runs. He did injure himself a little bit, though. So mm-hmm. that's something to... So how many home runs did I give him? 38? 38. Uh, about well, I don't know why we're not talking about the real good hitter on that team, uh, Mickey yeah. Monick. Oh, my. <laughs> He's on a 17-16 game hitting streak. Uh, no one He's, is talking about... No one's talking <laughs> about Mickey. What about Mickey Monick? He's on a 15-game, 16-game hitting streak. Yeah. He had a home run today or yesterday. Uh I know, I know what you're saying. Exactly, I, no, I know. He, but uh, still, I mean, mm-hmm. they they're, they're might be making a move. They got the pitcher now from Chicago, and so maybe they can, uh, yeah, you know, get get in that wild card race. I think they're screwing up by winning. I I think they should have traded him anyway. But uh, I'm I'm looking at the big picture down the road. I'm not looking at the small picture of this season. If they don't get anything for him next year, it's going to look like a big mistake. They're not going to get anything for him. Nobody, nobody can figure out what to give them. Nobody's going to give up the whole farm system for, for a six month or for a four month rental. Well, we ain't going to happen. And, we, and we're in an age where soccer players are are uh, pushing their nose up at a billion dollars, Joe. Yeah, Mbappe. Jesus, are you kidding me? So yeah, so Otani will be the highest paid player for sure, but uh, where he's going to be. Nobody knows. Yeah, nobody knows. But if they, well, the Orioles are trying to make some, maybe they're the league leading American League Orioles, sixty-two and forty. Yeah, I mean they're only two games behind Atlanta for the best record in baseball. I mean they're playing great. If, if they got a Tawny, if they had a Tawny, look out, look out. They got like yeah. said, yeah. where would but, he stay? But if the Angels win the World Series, I would have to think he stays, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, or, you know, oh, goes to the World Series. I think yeah, yeah. if Angels are not letting him go, that means they're trying to And I don't even think they, they put all the money out for Trout. They'll put the money out for Otani. If he likes it there, like he says he does. I mean, if not, you know, maybe he can go to Cornelius's Giants out here. We talked about that last week. Or maybe Seattle or somewhere on the sure, West Coast. I, he wants to stay on the West Coast. I don't think the ceiling's that high, Joe. I think as long as they didn't make the playoffs, he'll stay. Okay. Just make the playoffs. Yeah, I don't think there's. States. Yeah, I, that's what I think. Okay, well, we'll see how that goes. Uh, one other trade: uh, Kiki Hernandez uh, traded back from Boston to the Dodgers. Uh, for two AAA relievers. Uh, it's a reunion for Hernandez, right? Right. He was a key player, fan favorite there. Uh, Dodgers World Series team, and yeah. uh, ended up being part of the Mookie Betts trade. Right. So, um, 
he's back. So that's now a they got that was a good trade. So now they got both teams. they traded uh-huh. a, a Kiki for a Mookie. Uh, yeah, yes, exactly. Basically. Okay, basically. And, and uh, the Red Sox need some relievers, so maybe right. one of those two guys might. Well, I mean, they're pan above out. the Yankees in the standings right now. The yes. boss is not playing bad. They're not a, definitely a seller. So, right. When we say a buyer seller team. Who's your? Who would you say who's who's buying it? It's our buying and selling week in baseball, so we'll just call it our buying and selling week on the program. Okay. Uh, who's buying and selling? Mets. Well, Mets, Mets selling. are selling. Okay, well, what about Verlander? He's pitched his last three games. He's had a one point, I think, three nine ERA. Perfect time to get rid of. Perfect time, yeah. Actually, that's Scherzer, a good rental. Yep. Scherzer is the one to get rid of. He's he's the one that's uh, not going to really help you do anything next year, right? I don't. But I don't think he's pitching that well this year. No, so I don't know if you want to jump on that kind of. He's contract. not worth. He's not worth a whole lot right now. Right now, yes. So Verlander, I think you might want to keep for next Padres? year. Padres. Oh, so much money that yeah, they they spent way too much money. They big, got big, some big, some out of those guys coming out. Okay, so you guys are saying Angels are your buy? They're buyers, obviously. Yeah, they already yeah, started. They already, they already started, started buying. Yeah, can't argue that. Okay. Basically, every every other team that's got a shot is, is should be buying at this point. Well, you should, think? but I mean, do they? Somebody, you know, yeah. everybody needs at least a pitcher, a bat, something. So, well, I mean, look at the Red Sox game and a half out. Yankees two and a half out, Angels three out, Mariners four and a half out. So, and then you have, uh, you know, the Guardians and the, yeah. the Twins in a tight race. Right. Um, so, I just mean, one team comes from one there. One team's going to come out of that one, like we said. Automatic. Right. But Gator said one of those teams is going to make the wild card. I'm going to hold them. I'm, I'm going to hold the Gator to the, to the, well, you got to remember, uh, Bieber's out now. Right. Okay. That's so, a huge hit. So, what about the Cardinals? They're, uh, Levin out. You guys, you're selling. I didn't see that winning streak uh, continue like it was. So they win like seven, eight in a row, and then nine and a uh, half out of the wild card. So yeah. uh, and you're not. I, I'm not selling Goldschmidt or Arenado. Neither. Right? Keeping yeah. those not guys. Eating. Well, no one wants not to pitch it. No one. Their pitch no. doesn't help anybody. I don't think they're making. I'm not trailing. Okay. I'm. I'm expecting the Pirates to trade their uh, who's their bender, their uh, reliever. I think the Dodgers would be a part of that. I think the Dodgers. Yeah, go Pirates out him. just fell off the map. Um, he's on the yeah. next year. He's going to go to arbitration. He's looking at a pretty big um, payday coming, and the Dodgers definitely could afford it. The Dodgers need pitching more than anything, just like the Giants mm-hmm. need pitching. Mm-hmm. Maybe the Giants could get in a bidding war. When you think about that, Cornelius, he's definitely giving me the no sign. Okay. He said the Giants got what they want. They're going to go with who they have. Okay. Mm. They're not buying or selling. They're just mm. like that uh, little canoe out there in McCovey Cove, just floating around. Well, they'll, they'll have time. Uh, I don't think they'll go for one of the major guys, but they'll go out and get somebody. Get a Tawny. We would love to see him in the Giants. Yeah, well, of course. That'd be amazing. But uh, so, Gator, yeah, who are, are the hot teams? Uh, in baseball, we should be or should have been betting on lately. Well, I would say Minnesota, Houston, Angels, and the Cubs. Yeah, those are they're all pretty hot right now. And, and Angels are probably, probably the hottest, huh? Eight and two. So yeah, the Cubs are only getting under five hundred street. But we have a couple of them that are going to be playing the cold teams this week. Like Minnesota is going to be at Kansas City. Uh huh. So I'm just saying, yeah, start looking. That's probably a good week. But they said Kansas City hasn't won back to back games since July first. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, that's, a long time. that's a long time. Yeah. Not to win two in a row. Well, I mean, Boston, that's 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 Oakland Asia-ish. Well, the Boston might not be the hottest at this exact moment. They are the best team this month, uh, July 14 and 5. Yeah, they are hot right now. And they're leading the league in batting average. Yeah. When they wear those yellow uniforms, the City Connect uniforms, 21 yeah. and 4. That's amazing. So they better Put them on a little more, fellas. Put them on a little more. <laughs> right. Yeah, come on. They don't even look like Boston. I see them out there. I got no reason. Yeah. Yeah. That, I agree. That yellow. They look like the San, San Diego Padres when they're playing in Mexico. But it's connected <laughs> to the Boston Marathon also, the Colorado okay. and whatever. And we had the explosion in those yes, people who got exactly. cast. So there is All right. there's Can't something to that it. yellow. Right there. Right there. Boston proud. Yes. And uh, who are the cold teams, Gator? We okay. should be or should have been betting against. Well, then some of these teams are shocks, but uh, like Miami and yeah. Arizona are shockers. But I got Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay. Yeah, that's a shocker. Terrible and, July. Uh, now the ones that are not shockers, Oakland, KC, and the White Sox. Right. Yeah. Uh, Atlanta is kind of on a cold spell right now, too. Shocking, mm-hmm. right? Three yeah. and seven. Mm-hmm. So, uh Pretty well. They'll, they'll get out of that. They're yeah, just playing. They came up against Milwaukee. They're going to be playing Milwaukee this weekend. What a series right. to watch. Yeah. Well, That's- Tampa Bay, you know, they started 31 and 9 since 31 and 34. So that's below 500. Yeah, but that was in May. You know, those. Yeah. Your April, May teams, you know that. 
They've been like that? Yeah, yeah it always does that, don't no? For the most mm-hmm. part, yes. Hmm. Yeah. As far as, uh, like, these teams, uh, the New York and, and the Padres, I mean, you got two choices. Get rid of those guys or maybe fire the manager. Mm, like, keep the players, idea. you know? Yeah, maybe yeah, that yeah. could be the problem. Yeah, and just yeah. keep everybody and try again next year. Just a thought. Um, other news from around the league. Two nights ago, Atlanta turned an 8-3-5 triple play against Boston. That was wild. Yeah, it was. Last time that happened, I don't know if you heard. 1800s. 1884. Who did it? The Boston Bean Eaters. <laughs> Turned one against the Providence Grays. <laughs> you say so, Joe. Uh, I'm telling <laughs> you. So we're saying center field, the first base, the third base is what we're saying, right? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah but that, it was terrible base those, running. It was like horrible base running. Running to third base, make the third out. That's like rule number one. I think you had to go to the bathroom. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe he was just trying to get in there. But uh, it was a Japanese guy. Maybe that's normal in uh, Japanese. Okay, baseball. don't be going Japanese. down there. All right, Joe, we're not that going down there. With two outs. Cornelius is definitely giving you the look. Uh, (laughs) Dodgers, Freddie Freeman, first player ever to have 20 home runs, 35 doubles, 125 hits, 10 steals, and 40 walks before August 1st. Wow. He leads the league in doubles. Pretty amazing. If it wasn't for uh, Acuna, I would say probably MVP. Right. Mm -hmm. So, uh, But he still has a shot. Absolutely. Um, I mean, you look at uh, Atlanta stubbed their nose to him and and went after Matt Olson and well, Matt also is hitting home runs, but he's also hitting 200. So, yep. I mean. um, let's see. Ellie Dela Cruz, that's our buddy there, shortstop Cincinnati. He broke a record. He threw a ball 99.8 miles an hour to first base. He's only wow. played in only 40 games. He's and that was from third, up. right? He plays yeah. third, yeah. Or shortstop, I think. Third or short, he plays both. Yeah. 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 Minnesota reliever, John Dren, he's thrown five pitches over 104 miles an hour now. So, <laughs> look, out. look out for that guy. He's pretty amazing. Um, by the way, Pittsburgh right fielder Henry Davis, the first player to hit two home runs off Otani in the same game. I think so they there's five home runs, the, for, and he got the win. He gave up five dingers and got the win. Yeah, pretty amazing. So, um, yeah, he has a three point four four ERA now. He wants to just pretty solid. He wants to bat against Otani every. every yeah, well, yeah. it's amazing. He'd be batting One guy's got him. Yeah, he's got his number. Congratulations to Scott Rowland, Fred McGriff. Uh, they're mm-hmm. elected to the Hall of Fame. Crime dog. Yeah. He deserves Crime it. Crime dog. Uh, Long time. 19 years, 40, 493 home runs, won a World Series with Atlanta. Roland played 17 years, eight gold gloves at third base, and won a World Series with St. Louis. So, well earned, overdue. Mm-hmm. Those guys overdue. Oh, that's some Rock and Ronnie information right there. I mm-hmm. Oh, right there. yeah. You could tell, huh? You that's, can- <laughs> that's good stuff. Injury report Aaron Judge is coming back uh, tomorrow. His toe is the fine. Yankees, so, uh, watch the Yankees start playing. Yeah, we'll watch him start hitting. Well, yeah, the whole team will play better. Seattle outfielder Jared Kellenek, he's out indefinitely, a fractured foot after kicking a Gatorade cooler in anger. Mm-hmm. So you got to be careful. Yeah. Picks <laughs> up a little soccer, buddy. Yeah, I was going to say the Gatorade cooler had to be full at the time. <laughs> it was not empty. Yes. And uh, the Giants um, shortstop, Brendan Crawford, uh, he's out 10 days. It's actually getting about 10 days now, uh, left knee inflammation. So, yes. Thank you to our correspondent, Rocky, uh, Rock and Ronnie McKinnon, for that information. Thank you, Ron. Yeah. So, um, National Football League news, right? Okay. Every camps camp. are open. Hey, Every camp is we're open. there. Football season is upon us. We're in camp, and we have injuries to report. Already. Oh, yeah. Well, we're Joe broke, broke back Mountain Burrow <laughs> is hurt again in preseason. I mean, you guys remember last year it was appendicitis. This year he has a calf injury. Carted off. Everybody thought for sure it was a major injury. Um, it's a strain. You say. Well, it's a strain to the calf, a sprain, strain yeah. calf. Um, you know, I just think a little get back when you go there to say, uh, we call it, where was he calling it? Arrowhead. He was called Burrowhead. Yeah. Uh, was, you know, was was take it. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you know, watch, watch mm-hmm. your P's and Q's. Uh, out there, uh, he's next Joe. in line to uh, get the big contract. Well, yeah, so maybe he Herbert might. got the big contract. Maybe we won't see him on the field again till he gets that big contract, uh, and then well, yeah. well he's definitely one of those guys that you definitely have to you have to pay him and just pay him. Don't Absolutely. even try to D- don't wait for him to get. What more about hurt? Aaron Rodgers getting thirty three million back to the Jets? Yeah, he restructured his contract. I think there's a backdoor, well, you know. Uh, you know, State well, Farm commercial for him. 
you know, yeah. or something like that. You got to, you're gonna get some backdoor money. Well, he would have never done I, that at Green Bay. I promise you that. Mm-hmm. So that's pretty great. Maybe he realizes he needs a little more help on the team finally, yeah, rather think, than worry him, about himself. And, to him, if, if he's what already made three hundred million dollars yeah. as a quarterback, um, thirty three million. Yeah, well, three thirty three million dollars is mm-hmm. he only has one Super Bowl, and that's going to go down yeah. to his legacy. So. Right. I like it. I, I, you know, he's doing the right things, doing, you know, going to the New York shows and being uh, out there in the New York. Uh, he seems to be enjoying himself. Uh, publicity. Yes, he's out there. And very, very right now, as long as you're not losing with gang green, you're going to have a very good time with the news reporters. And uh, yeah, don't look at the beginning of that schedule. Yeah. If you're a Jets fan. Or, right. You know, right. Ask Mark so Sanchez figure. about the New York press and okay. some of these other guys, you know, definitely, definitely not easy to play in that town. Right. Especially USC quarterbacks like Mark Sanchez. Okay. I had to mention that. Right. Okay. Other injuries, uh, Miami safety, Jalen Ramsey, he's out six to eight weeks. He just had knee yeah. surgery. Cornerback, corner. He plays oh, corner, okay. and he, uh, uh, he's out mis- um, corner. And miscus. Uh, yeah. So he's going to probably surgery six weeks unless you're Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes, you know, he heals in a week in any, mm-hmm. any injury. Okay. Um, you right. know, shout out to anybody that is – if you had a chance, watch the Netflix. It's called The Quarterback. And it's the show from last year. I'm telling you, it's if you like, it's hard knocks on steroids. And uh, you get to see Patrick Mahomes, you know, every week for a week when he was going through that injury, yeah. uh, what he had to go through, what he does every week to play football uh, with these quarterbacks. They also talk about Marcus Mariota is the other quarterback and uh, Kirk Cousins. And so if you get a chance to watch that, definitely on Netflix, it's definitely worth it. It'll get your blood pumping for football season as we're upon us. Right. So, got any more injuries? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, you know, uh, wide receiver and uh, kick returner, Kadarius Tony had the big return in the Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Uh, he's questionable for week one. Right. Uh, he also has – He a, is tweaked it, his knee. Tweaked his knee. I don't know yeah. if he doesn't need – return. I think he does need surgery, they said, so he's going to yeah. be out. They said the same thing, you know, four to six mm-hmm. weeks. Um, but if he – you know, we'll talk about Kansas City here in a little bit, but okay. that's, a, that's a big injury. Right. A uh, strange one. Uh, Buffalo running back and returner, Naheem Hines. He's done for the season after a jet ski accident. The way he, uh, he tells the story, I guess, uh, he was filling up his uh, jet ski with gas, and somebody just came up right up to him and ran into him and injured him. Well, the rumor was Ross Chastain. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so I don't know, man. Uh, that sounds like a fishy story to me, but I'm going to go with it, I guess. I don't know. Maybe that's not the real story, but uh, he's going to try to get some money. Now they're going to... Uh, you know, first contract, they're going to debate whether or not they have to pay him now. So that's going to be rough for old Naheem Hines, for sure. Uh, other signings, of course, uh, Saquon Barkley finally signed for $11 million in Justin Herbert for the Chargers. Five years, $262 million, just set the new bar up there. Right. How come the player associations are not helping out these running backs? Well, okay, look at the right tackle. What was his name, Smith? Or the Giants just got the big contract? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Thomas? 20, 20 million, $25 million a year? Yeah. Oh. And you can't give Saquon Barkley. Yeah. You're giving him only a one-year contract for 11? I mean. Player associations need to help these guys out. It's a little too late. The next they, they collective bargaining need... agreement is uh, like six, seven years away. So they're they're stuck. Mm. Yeah. Well, you're stuck in making $12 million. There's worse places yeah. to be stuck. You could be stuck in Barstow. You'd yeah. be stuck in no. Sacramento. <laughs> I, getting stuck I understand. Twelve million dollar contract in the NFL is not I, that bad. Being stuck, but still, no. they're not being equally. They're paid. not. Comp- they're not getting compensated correctly. Yep. No, that's not fair. Especially but, for the hits they take. But what can you do? There's nothing they can do. Well, I'll just go out and play, or you can sit out, and that's not going to. Everybody you. sit out. No, all the running backs. No, because start, I'll just hurt them. Start your own league where you don't have to uh, tackle anybody. Okay, Joe, or... we're not going <laughs> to start a new league. Okay, but I do want to talk about our se- our segment here, Joe. We're going to say I'm going to give right. you guys some. So it's it's trade deadline, so we're going to be buy or sell. Okay, mm-hmm. starting quarterback that last year. Um, uh, what what was it? it? Was six QBs were benched last year? We were starting quarterbacks in the NFL, and seven were injured and didn't finish. So that's thirteen didn't yeah. finish as starters. So that's forty percent of the QBs that start. Those of you doing fantasy football, pay Sounds attention. About to right. So forty percent don't get to finish. So you might not be there for your Super Bowl. Surprised uh, that it's not more. It, right? Yeah. Well, exactly. I mean, I think that the definitely the protecting the quarterbacks has a big right. thing to deal with it. But if you're losing, the next man up. So I'm going to tell you the first one I'm going to go to is buy or sell. Baker Mayfield does not get benched this season. 
by herself. Oh, doesn't get benched? Oh, he, um, that's funny. I'll uh, sell that. He will get benched. I mean, he's gonna he's gonna get hurt too. Uh, does that okay. count? That does count yeah, down, yeah, very good question. He's not gonna last the whole season. Yep. And Kyle Trask is sitting right there and looking good. So basically, yep, you're the third asking, year quarterback out of Florida. So yes, you're do right. Do they have an offensive line to protect these guys? Is that you're asking? I'm saying Baker Mayfield's got benched every time he's played well, in, he's in every team he's been too. through. Yeah. Last year, and uh, he was with uh, the Panthers. And yes. he got set down. So yeah. anyway, so doesn't he, look good for Tampa. doesn't look good for Tampa Bay this year. <laughs> okay, I'm going to give you the next one a little bit better. Uh, Ryan Tannehill, Tennessee. Oh no. wow. He's not going to get benched. I don't think he's going to get benched if they're winning, if they're in first place in that division. He's going to keep playing. Okay, Malik Willis, and then they drafted Will Levis. Will yeah. Levis. Yeah, it's going to be a good battle. For so second. that's a good battle for second place. Um, mm-hmm. One thing I did look at this year, guys, uh, for your preseason, is I don't see any battles for QB1 mm-hmm. on any teams. Mm-hmm. I think pretty much I'm, everybody I'm with you, Big Richard. You're right. I think everybody's in. That will okay. affect your betting because if you want to bet the preseason, you know, like we were taking last year, we were taking Drew Locke and Geno Smith. That's right. Every time they were playing, because they were playing for a position where they were playing right. backups that didn't work. So, good the teams that have three good quarterbacks will be ones to bet in preseason. Right. Okay. Well, I'm going to talk about a team that doesn't have three good quarterbacks. Okay. okay. So, I'm talking the next one, Jordan Love. Ah, mm. Green Bay. But that's big. If crazy. Jordan Love goes down, I mean, if Jordan, if the Green Bay starts losing and Jordan Love looked like Jordan Love of last year, mm. would yeah, you dude. bet him? Um, who's your backup? Sean Clifford out of Penn State. You, know, you have Danny <laughs> Ellington, Eddington, who didn't even start at LSU, and you got Alex Magoo, Magoo, Magoo or Magoo, Magoo Magoo out of Florida International. Magoo, he's uh, one of those USFL uh, XFL guys. Uh, he's actually pretty decent, but that's of course right. lower competition. Right? If no. they bench him, they're in way trouble. Yeah, there's well, no, there's nobody there. There's, there's nobody. There's there. nobody to bench him for. So Love is going to play as long as he can stand. Yeah. Okay. Pretty he's going to have to because there's nobody behind him. Nobody behind. Him. Okay. Another one. Tyler Murray, who's starting off on the pub oh. from his ACL injury from last December um, of the 2022 season, does he make it through the season? He came in with a uh, Spider-Man mask. Saying he's super. He, uh, he never he, does. So uh, I mean, he can't last 17 games without getting hurt. Or his he, mouth. And the backup who played well last year, Colt McCoy. Colt McCoy. But he is 36 years old. Yeah. No, uh, Murray definitely will not. Make so it. that's a thing. He, he will not make it. Okay. No. Like this game. He never has. has. This is great. Well, Clayton Dunn is I the like third. It. Clayton Dunn is the third uh, quarterback yeah. on that. He's out of the rookie out of the University of Houston, where they were slinging it last year. So oh. there's somebody to look out oh, for. Oh, boy, is a decent backup. He is. And so Arizona preseason that might be a good bet because you got some good backup okay. quarterbacks. All right. Uh, all right. And I'm gonna leave with the last one. Uh, Chili Mac Jones from. Oh, I thought you were gonna say Garoppolo for some reason. Well, it's and... probably gonna be Garoppolo next, but I'll give you one. Right. I'm gonna say we'll say Mac Jones. Uh, Does he make it through? I mean, he is on the yeah, you know, his third cut. season. Couldn't tell you who their backup Billy is. Billy Zappi. Oh, Zappi. Yeah, he's, he's good. good. Yeah. He's really good. Yeah, they let him start a game. They did bench him last year. They let him start. Then they made their mind up real quick. Zappi uh, wasn't ready for the NFL. I, I could be in the minority here. probably am. But I see Mac Jones having a good season, and he will not get benched. Good. He, he but I think play, that's the key. It's because he gets hurt. You're buying on Mac. You I'm want chili Mac, chili Mac on sale. Uh, no, I think what Joe says, as long as he has a good season, but as me, if I had those two quarterbacks and Max sh- shows any signs of not getting them close, I would sit him and put Zappy. You want yeah. Zappy in? Get, get on the Zappy train. It's a, it's a decent backup there, Zappy. Okay. He played well. I would, he would be on a short yeah. list for me. Or All right, short Jimmy list. G, who yeah. uh, obviously started off the season three and four with San Francisco. They brought in, they got the great trade of Christian McCaffrey. Yeah. They went 10 and 0 with him, and they also had Brock Purdy, who's now the starting quarterback for San Francisco. Right. Um, Jimmy G. Not a chance of finishing the season. You're saying? Not with 1% chance because he will get hurt. Yeah, yeah. You're you're selling on Jimmy G. They don't have an offensive line. He could, yeah, well, yeah. He they could, don't. Uh, he could look decent. I mean, he has a really good win record, win-loss yeah, record, but uh, he also has a big injury history. So. History. Yeah, broke uh, his leg last year. Yeah. I, I, he's not going to make it all year, and they're going to need a backup to come in, whoever that may be. They're going to need a line. I don't know who the backup for the Raiders is, but uh, they're in deep trouble. They are. Okay. Okay, good. But I want to go give you guys one more thing here. I'm going to say, right. okay, buy or sell, Kansas City repeats and goes to the Super Bowl. Not when Super goes to the Super Bowl. Uh, that's a tough one. Um, that's because everybody's gunning for them. See, to repeat, that's easy. I'm going to say no, because the last time it's happened, uh, New England. 
okay. 2004 and 2005. But they have been to three of the last four Super Bowls, winning two of those. All right. I guess they could you make got, it back. You're betting against it. Patrick Mahomes, who yeah. played with one leg and freaking was amazing in the Super yeah, Bowl. Yeah, they're a team. Well, they're the team that do it. Okay, but this is okay. what I'm going to say about them. I'm going to say they're – now that you have, they have no more JJ Juster. You know he yeah. uh, he went to your Mac Jones uh, Patriots. Oh, interesting. So Marquise Vallis uh, Scantley yeah. is the next one up. Then after that, you have Sky Moore. Right. Yeah, he had five catches last year. He's out of Western Michigan. Rushy Rice. He's out of SMU. Good rookie. Good good looking rookie, but he has never played an NFL snap. Um, Richie James. Yeah. And, <laughs> right yeah. and Justin Ross. Yeah. So I'm telling you that he has, didn't even play last year, and his last Ross, game, I think, just retired. Well, no, day, just, oh, Justin Ross from uh, the Clemson. Uh, Clemson. He's only second year out of Clemson. Oh, so it's Ron different. Ross. Yeah, Ron Ross. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah. Well, you know, Mahomes will so, make everybody look good. Well, you exactly. have to be up, and of course, you have Travis Kelsey, uh, the best yeah. in the world. So, um, and you have great running backs. You know, out of the and back Andy Reid is your head coach. Andy Reid is your head coach. You got it's hard to bet against Mahomes. But I'm gonna think also I'm gonna I'm gonna not think I'm gonna I'm gonna sell on the repeat for Kansas City and make it. So. It's just that everybody's gone in for him, but if it's a team that could do it, it's that okay. Team. So let's go to the Philadelphia Eagles and we'll finish it up oh. here. Eagles. I'm gonna put last year they were one play away from the Super Bowl. If they had another 15 seconds, they probably would have tied that game up. Yeah. Um that weird call, right? The, uh, holding call. Right. Jalen Carter and Nolan Smith was their first round picks. Out of Georgia, right, and they were having awesome camps. They're blowing up the offensive line. The number ones are blowing up the Eagles. Great number ones right now. Their first couple of days of camp, and they're staying off the roads. And they're yeah, they're, they're yeah, not they're, driving they're, anywhere. They're, they took their keys. <laughs> the keys are away from them. They're in camp. They're doing great. They're not distracted. Okay. They have Jordan Davis, who was the first round pick last year from Georgia, and Aki Dean, who was a also a, I think a second year linebacker out of. Uh, out of Georgia. So the, all these guys that are that Georgia great defense the yeah. last two years, they're getting better. Um, their backup, Marcus Mariota, mm. so who's similar type of uh, quarterback uh, hers, right. to hers, and uh, A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith on the wide receivers. So I'm saying they're definitely going back to the Super Bowl. So we're seeing mm. the Eagles, Eagles fly, Eagles fly. What do you say? I say they don't win the division. And oh, I'll you're going you with the Cowboys. You know, uh, Cowboys, Giants, or or. Commanders. Yes, there hasn't been a back there hasn't back. been a repeat in the NFC East since 2003 and 2004. There's no real explanation why this happens. It just happens. So market. Well, that's 20 it. years. It's time to happen. All oh, okay. No. So it's 23, 24, 20 <laughs> years. Point of Gator. Do you want? You think the Eagles make it back? I think the X factor in your question there is Dallas. If this is Dallas, Dallas has to do it this year, or they are in deep trouble for next year. They say that every year. But Dallas and San right, Francisco, and they never get past the 49ers. They never get past them. So <laughs> they should have last year. But uh, I'm but, gonna, I'm gonna say Philly does not win it, and that's only because I think Dallas will do it this year. Oh, you're well, the hey, okay. Thank you. Oh, yeah, Gator. get that right. man a drink. Last note, uh, Ioma was Rike, latest guy to. Uh, done for the season for gambling on NFL games. He's a Denver defensive end. So another one bites the dust. Oh, man. Hall of Fame game next Thursday. Any predictions? I do. I like uh, you're going to see ba- uh, UCLA running uh, UCLA uh, quarterback. Jetson Browns. No, the guy uh, was no. it the guy with Thompson? Yes. Uh, Dorian Thompson. Dorian Thompson. So he'll be playing. Um, and also you're going to see Zach Wilson playing on the other side. Uh, so he's going to have to play well. Okay. Um, so you won't you won't see. So I guarantee there'll be some good quarterback play tonight. Like, yeah, uh, yeah, I, I will definitely I take. I'm gonna take the Browns, and oh. I definitely we always go with the under. Yes, it's thirty three and a half. I think so. Take the under on that. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Uh, seven out of the last ten, five out of seven, and three out of four have gone under thirty three and a half in the Hall of Fame game. They went over last year. The last time we had back to back overs, two thousand eight and two thousand nine. It is gonna go under. It's gonna be awful. Just so you know. Okay. So. Okay, it's time to motor on over to NASCAR. Uh, just quickly, uh, what happened last week? Uh, who won and um, who's got the momentum? I guess it was a pretty good race. I watched the end of it. it was- Did you? Yeah. yeah, Danny Hamlin won. He was at a plus 550. Yeah. But Toyota's, like we said on the show, they've been dominating the last three races. We also said that he's won. He's the, had six wins. Mm-hmm. And, and, oh, no. and, and now he has seven. Yep, so we nailed that. And then... Um, um, did you see the end of that uh, big Richard? Well, with Kyle Larson and well, yeah, because yeah. I didn't, I didn't get to see the last two laps. He sent so several, the best two laps, <laughs> right? I didn't get to see it, and I know that there was some controversy with Danny Hamlin. 
Get in the hand, they bump Kyle or Arson out of the law, then into the wall. Yeah. Uh, when you're trying to pass him. I mean, it's hard racing, I believe. I mean, you've played exactly. away. And then yeah, uh, Kyle Larson gets at his feelings, and he bumps him on a caution. <laughs> so mm-hmm. I'm sure that I'm surprised yeah. he's even be able to race this week after a bump on a caution. But Yeah, Larson said it was a pretty um, crappy thing to do. That's not the word he used on national television. But, uh, yeah, it was a... Uh... So he's got a target. What about the guy that ran? Was that Reddick that threw his helmet at somebody too? We yeah, had a helmet yeah. throwing, isn't it? Uh, like you're going to hit a car going 200 yeah. miles an hour around the track, but uh, he had a good try. It was well, pretty close. The controversy was um, Ryan Priest. He was down on the on the track and he was stuck. He couldn't get mm-hmm. his car going with two laps left, and then so the guys are coming around on the with one lap left to go, and he's still sitting there, and they had to throw the yellow. Uh, flag okay. down there, and they didn't actually race to the line, unfortunately. So yeah, the that's why I didn't go there. Pretty see it. You know, another you know, another, another letdown. Can yeah. you let us down again, NASCAR? Another letdown. Yeah. Well, that's all right. We're going to Richmond now, Joe. Joe Gibbs racing on fire. Two two wins in a row. That's right. Uh, the Cookout Four Hundred, uh, mm-hmm. Richmond, Virginia. They raced there twice a year. Yeah. That three is quarters it, of a mile track. three quarters, or as my wife would say, it's one quarter from full. Yeah. From, <laughs> so uh, okay. we'll say that. Uh, yeah, it's the D track. Yeah, okay. exactly. Um, well, here's the deal. We got Toyotas again on this track at a dominate. So are they going to win five in a row, four in a row, four in a row? Well, last year, Hamlin and Harvick, right? Uh-huh. I Christopher Bell. Did Larson win earlier this year, I think, in yeah, April? Yeah. On a short track. And that's a, yeah. that's a Chevy, right? So, uh, okay. Well, Byron's, or they, they, like Harvick, Byron's Harvick's Harvick's really good at this track. When you Byron's guys. good on the short tracks, he's he's averaging 6.6, six, uh, sixth in racing. Um but I don't on the shorter to, track, so he does good. I don't want to take Toyota because Toyota is a very good favorite on there, but how can you not take them? They are such on fire right now. Exactly. And, and, um, how do you not bet on Truex? Yeah, how do you not bet on Truex or Christopher Bell or Denny Hamlin? Don't, don't bet know. on Christopher Bell, for God's sakes. Every time I do, he lets me down. He has one at this track, though. He knows Yeah, he hasn't won this year. So how about the uh, little college football news uh, that's also starting up here? Oh, in the oh month? Jim Harbaugh got caught with his hand in the cookie jar. Cheating, oh, and lying, and lying, cheating—all the things you get divorces for. Michigan. Now he gets a four-game, five-game suspension. Oh, it looks yeah. like it appears it's going to happen. It's not one hundred percent official, apparently, but uh, yeah, he'll four games. One's a big. conference game. Yeah, it's, right. it's big not having your head coach. I think he's just a major part of that. I think that's just big if you're going to bet Mich- Michigan Big Blue. Maybe um, take they, it easy the first four well, games. Well, you know, uh, they've had histories in the past of losing to Appalachian State. Mm. You know, some, some you know, right. mid-majors smoking them in the first couple of weeks. So that's something to look into. I'm not dropping any points on Michigan first. I'm not going to drop those 20 okay. and 30 points. Nice hot pick. Anything okay. else uh, from the world of college? Oh, Colorado Buffaloes. Uh, yeah, they don't want to be on the West Coast anymore. They say a Buffalo needs to be in the Midwest, uh, and they're going to I stay agree. in the Big 12. Oh, that, back to the Big 12. Back to well, the Big 12. Be the Big 8. And can you just see the the Pac-12 falling? Rumbling? Yeah, it is, I mean, it's, it's another happening. defector. We haven't seen this much defecting since the Russians defecting to the United States. I can't believe they're – Going over, uh, like you said, in 2020, was it 25? In two years, Colorado's out of the pack, uh, UCLA and USC, all out of the pack 12. So there ain't going to be much left there. I'm going to be the pack four. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's uh, it's going to be interesting to see what's actually left. But obviously, the commissioner, said, San Diego the State's coming in. Doing yeah, his they, job. they dropped out of the, the Mountain well, West because they're going to go into theirs. So, eventually, but right. not this year. They're not, not going to rush year, No. No. Okay, so that's it for big college. change up. Big right. change up in uh, college football, not this year but next year. You'll see some big changes. Yeah, it's crazy. It's hard to keep track of all these teams where they're going. Texas, so Oklahoma, the season, to the SEC. It's just going to be once the season starts. Then we'll see. Yeah, and then next season we'll see what happens then. And the next season, and one thing if you watch the Texas, every year. you keep an eye on Texas right now. I'm telling you right now. I know we don't want to get too much into college this early, but yep. they have three really good quarterbacks. Um, viewers yeah, manning and uh, somebody else and the, yeah the kid he's probably the, he has the strongest arm out of all of them That's, and uh, uh we can see one of those guys transferring for sure yeah i yeah i know exactly right. i mean uh, yeah. well we'll see they'll play transfer the portal yeah, exactly so yeah with manning sitting behind you and uh, it's gonna make you a little nervous all right and right. you know manning's only on two years before he's planning on going to the pro so you got to play him while you draft that's why you that's why you signed him that's why you went out and yeah. recruited him it makes a lot i mean and maybe you should have sent harbaugh out there and he could have cheated a little more that's <laughs> well, sure the Manning cheating? Never. Never. Not no, all. No. Uncle Peyton would not be appreciative no. of that. No. Okay. Um, well, time for a little review. Golf's final major, uh, the Open Championship, what we call the British Open. 
Uh, why we're we talking about this? United States, Brian Harmon won by six strokes. Uh, you know, he's first in fairways hit, second in putting. Uh, he only hit two bunkers in all oh, week, one on the last hole. I mean, he deserved it, but it was a huge upset, man. Uh, he hadn't won a tournament since 2017. His odds on July 11th, 175 to one, believe it or not. Crazy. I love watching that tournament. Yeah. It's Saturday great. afternoon, I got got him at minus 200. <laughs> he was up by six. So yeah. it's like easy money, right? So, but I love watching the British Open too. But congratulations to him. Uh, one of my picks, John Rahm, he tied for second, um, shot a course record 63, but unfortunately wasn't good enough. Oh, second my place. Yeah, our time. But we did nail the Tour de France, Jonas Vingago, plus 150. We got that. Second time he's won it in yes. a row. Back in track. Row. Yes. So um, here's an interesting story Canadian Football League, the Edmonton Elks, formerly the Elk Eskimos, Saturday, they're going to try well try to avoid breaking their 20 game home losing streak uh that's tied with baseball's 1953 St. Louis they can Browns do the largest home losing streak ever in North American team sports the spread is eight and a half the, yeah. El- the Elks are 0 and 7 this year by the way I'm not going to do it change that name back to the Eskimos and get a win now, mm. there's something bad about that they changed their name and now they can't win a game uh-huh. that's terrible <laughs> Exactly. Uh, I see exactly what's going not going to happen though. Too uh, eight and a half points. You you wouldn't uh, take the points or anything. Huh? No. Nope. Okay. British Columbia minus four hundred. You might want to bet them and parlay it to something else. Mm-hmm. What, Whoever the Elks are playing. Uh, well, they're they're already playing that. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you have to find something like a baseball game. Something. I don't know. <laughs> parlay it to something. Anyway. So I guess it's time for that uh, part of the show where we talk about. Uh, Things that, you know, bets looked uh, pretty good, had a chance, but something went terribly wrong in the end, and they ended up being losers. It's the segment we affectionately call You Got Hosed. You Got Hosed. Well, I'll start it off here because I'm going to go right down to that nasty NASCAR. Uh, I do it with my big man, good friend uh, Gator tells me, always bet the matchups. So William Byron's the pole setter. Going against Ross Chastain, who's 21st. So I'm thinking, that's an easy win. I'm over there watching the first 60 laps that he's out in front, and Chastain's around 20th and 25th. I'm like, there's no way, right? On the last lap, of course. who came in 12th was Ross Chastain. I <laughs> came in 13th, and I lost my $50. I thought easy bet, but it wasn't really. You had it all the way. Had it all the way until the last couple laps. Well, that does happen. That's happened to me before, and NASCAR is that crazy. Is a bad one. Especially when there's a wreck on the last lap. And you go, oh, my God. And they can put you at any spot at that point. Well, mine, you guys, is um, after the All-Star break, San Francisco went and played uh, Pittsburgh at Pittsburgh, and they won all three games. And then they played two games in Cincinnati and won those two games, but they had two more to play and lost both of those. Now that was Cincinnati, right? So it's not too Pretty bad. Hot team. They're good team. Good team. So now they're going to Washington in Washington. Friday, the books had San Francisco at a minus 155. They lost five to three. Saturday, the books had them at a minus 150. They lost 10 to one. And then Sunday, the books had them at a minus 115. Get a little smarter. Still lost six to one. Right. Now, what I think is crazy is that that was Sunday. Monday, the Rockies go in and beat Washington 10 to six. And trust me, the score was closer than what it actually the game was. <laughs> so I would say if anybody who bet San Francisco that last weekend got hosed. Mm-hmm. They were hot. They, they were hot. And now all of a sudden they couldn't hit. And Nothing. Then, but then they get to play the ace and everything's better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but they're bigger, they're, right? They only needed two runs to win one of those games. <laughs> One. We can get two, but we can't get like six. How do you get on a winning streak? You play the A. Get on a structure winning streak. Yeah, well, sad to say. Well, my You Got Hose moment comes from the Barracuda Championship golf tournament last Sunday, just down the road in Truckee. Uh, Patrick Rogers, he's 28 to 1. He missed a 15 foot putt on the 18th hole. Still got into a playoff with Akshay Batia. And then he gets in a playoff. Well, he hits the ball, Rogers right in the middle of the fairway, perfect shot, ends up in a divot. He ends up chunking it. And then he puts it on the green, two putts for a bogey. He's in in five, but Tia, he's just looking at a birdie putt for three, and he just lags it right up there and knocks it into the net. 
knock, you know, knocks it next to the hole, taps it in this for a time. four. And he won at 25 to one, but that freaking divot made the difference. Well, I tell you what, man, I always thought golf was a gentleman's sport. You always put your divots back. I always thought that's what yeah, you're supposed but to do. The pros. They don't do it in the pros. You see it all the time. The dry, brown hole of dirt. It landed right in there. I don't know why he, he hit, hit it out of there. <laughs> he said he got, he got a bunker on the fairway. He basically. <laughs> <laughs> well, is, you got hosed. Well, anyway, Rogers and anyone who bet on Rogers, they got hosed. I, I think you should be able to take it out of that, put it right next. That, that's a funny rule. Uh, yeah. I think you should crazy. watch, uh, you know, Billy Mapps. Right. <laughs> See, where the ball is, you got to hit it. Jay, if you hit it in the fairway, you should be able to put it where you want. <laughs> You got hose. Well, I guess that's it for the show. Thank you, Big Rich. Um, thank you, Gator. Thank you, Joe. And thank you, Cornelius, thank you, our, our, our producer, uh, and Rock and Ronnie uh, McKinnon, our uh, correspondent. I'm Joe Allison, and we look forward to bringing you another episode next week of Covering the Field. You've been listening to Covering the Field. Email us at coveringthefield at gmail.com. For all your comments or questions, find us on Twitter at Covering Field. And of course, always check out the website for our picks of the week and updated articles. CoveringTheField.com. 